Hello, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. This is JJ and welcome to another daily sketch. And today we are working on Inktober Day 3, which is apples, or in, I guess in this case, apple. And also be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where I will be showcasing some artwork from other people doing Drawloween or Inktober. And if you'd like me to give you a shout out at the end of my videos, please um, use the hashtag RelInktober and I'll look through those and put it on um, the ones that I like and enjoy in the next video or something. So yeah. Anyways, so this is the first pose that I decided to do. Um, this is Rel Rel, probably a little bit older. I mean, as I was drawing it, I decided she's about, this is like Rel Rel at 25, just for fun and everything. And I thought it would be cool to give her hair like Sombra, because I freaking love Sombra. I mean, I've never played Overwatch, but uh, Sombra's hair is cool. And I mean, yeah, can't go wrong with that hairstyle. At first, this was the pose that I was going to go with, but uh, I don't know, eventually I change it completely because this pose seemed a little too I don't know not dynamic enough or it, it seemed a little stiff or something so I decided to go and change it up and yep so here we go I decided to give her you know a downward turn a downwards turned head and less of a you know her lowered her arm and everything so yeah oh and you can see there as I was working on this I was listening to the what game was it Shantae not Pirate's Curse, um, Half Genie Hero, um, the Half Genie Hero soundtrack, and uh, yeah, it's good stuff. So one of the things I noticed um, in the second pose is that there was a lot of negative space right there, you know, on the left side. And I decided that, you know, I don't know, I just always think it's cool that if there's negative space, fill it up with her hair. So I gave her more of a, I guess the hairstyle is reminiscent of the speed drawing I did a couple years ago of Rel Rel dressed as um, Slave Leia. Maybe there'll be a picture of it pop, pop up here if I feel like edit, editing that into it later on and stuff. But yeah, so I guess this is how I would picture Rel Rel at you know 25 so I tried to narrow out her her face a little bit and I guess the older she gets the longer her hair gets you know because <laughs> if you look through my my drawings of Rel Rel when she's younger her hair is like really short and as time goes by I just make her hair longer and longer and I guess that's that's my way of visualizing hey she's getting older I guess I don't know yeah and I don't know if anyone's ever seen um, Pumpkinhead, but I don't know why. It's like a really old horror movie. It's a really weird horror movie that I watched when I, when I was a kid, but I don't know why that's where I thought Pumpkinhead would look like. It's We passed it already, but the first pumpkin that looked kind of squishy, I thought that's what Pumpkinhead was going to look like, and I was disappointed when I found out he was just some crazy looking like evil velociraptor alien monster. Which is totally off topic, but I guess it's kind of on topic since we're, since it's Halloween, man. So I guess, yeah, Halloween movie. Go watch Pumpkinhead. Let me know what you think. Oh, and a little fun fact. Um, right now I am working on a comic with, um, I guess he goes by Robofist on, um, on Twitter. And one of the characters, is, or her name is, oh my gosh, I can't remember her name. I'm drawing a blank. Anyways, I'll flash it up on screen, but anyways, her, the clothing that she's wearing, or whatever, she wears like a puffy shirt with a bow tie, and it's really cute, and the character is really cute, and I decided to kind of, I kind of stole that style for Rel Rel here, the only difference is that Rel Rel has a little... It's not the Batman symbol, it's just supposed to be a bat, but it ended up just looking like the Batman symbol. <clears throat> Which is funny because my daughter saw it and she instantly just said, Look, Batman! And. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is. You can hear my daughter right now in the background. So. Anyways, I was. Um, drawing the apple and I thought it would be cool to have it animate so I I don't know the last bit here is me animating some you know I guess electricity eventually it's supposed to be like wisps of um, bluish ice magic type thing 
And I don't know, I, I also thought this would be a cool, I guess, glimpse. Or, um, not a glimpse, or, I don't know. Eventually, because in the story, Rel Rel has, like, different powers and stuff that she can use. And I guess it's cool to see, you know, see that she could eventually use them without having to, to go into her transformation. And, I mean, it doesn't really mean anything, and it might not ever mean anything, but to me, I was like, hey, that's cool. Ooh, it's a spoiler. Look at this, this drawing that I'm making for future reference if I ever finish the story. Hey, Rel Rel eventually uses, um, gets to use her powers without having to transform, and it's like, oh. She can make um, space and time apples, which are so much more tastier than regular apples. But there you go. There's the animation. And um, it's all finished, so thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And go ahead and check out my Twitter and my Instagram if you want to see more of my work. And if you'd like to so help support me and what I do, um, please give a look to my Patreon. And, um, yep, if you'd like me to give you a shout out or something like that, please use the hashtag Relinktober. And here's an image from another fellow artist, my cousin Chanel, um, that she did for, I believe it was uh, Day One Pumpkin. And it came out really cute, really awesome. And uh, yeah, please give her work a like and a subscribe and follow and stuff. I'll have a link or something up here, somewhere on the screen. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back next time with another um, artistic video. And anyways, please take care. You all rock. Thanks for watching. Bye.